What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have an 11 through 16 and this customer is complaining that the trans has a harsh 1-2 or 3-2 downshift, upshift coming out of this 6R140. I wanna know if you guys are having this problem and if you are, you might wanna watch this video and find out how to replace your valve body. But look at all those shift solenoids. All right guys, let's do it. All right, everybody, thanks so much for coming back, checking out another Power Stroke, another new, this is a new to the channel, trans servicing. We've done multiple trans drain and fills, but this one is gonna be the valve body. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and make sure to share our content amongst the Power Stroke community because we're dropping knowledge bombs to keep you guys on the road, keep these trucks on the road because this is what is making our money. All right, I'm gonna put a link in the description to the video where I have already gone ahead and removed the pan and the filter when I was doing the transmission fluid filter change. That's gonna bring us to a crucial point in this repair because we already have the pan and the filter removed and we're just gonna be now looking at the valve body. So let me get underneath here. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like with no pan and no filter. All right, I've already had this thing draining for a minute. And let's see if I can get this light to stay. Here is the valve body with no pan, no filter. You can see the feed tubes going into the back of it. All that's gotta come down. All those shift solenoid connectors, those can kind of be tricky, but we're going to we're gonna pop all of those out. I'm gonna see if I can get a clip of showing you how to pop those clips out. But we have a a clip here on the shift linkage. We're gonna have to take that rod out of that little shuttle valve thingy I'm describing to you uh, but this is it right here and uh, there's only just a few bolts uh, holding that up uh, once you get the filter down so um, let me get set up and we're gonna get to the next shot so one of the first things we're gonna do is try to get all these electrical connectors off we have a whole bunch of them before we do that one of the easiest things we're gonna do is remove this shifter linkage from the side mechanism to the valve body now there's a little detent a hole in this metal rod here we're gonna pop this tab just pop this tab and we're gonna slide this up just like we did or just like you saw me do and then I'm going to slide this rod out you see it and it comes out the other end it's just a big like a big uh, U so once that's out just get that out of the way because we're gonna reuse that I'm not gonna do anything with this clip you're gonna notice this is gonna want to move in and out so you're gonna be combat combating fluid dripping and parts moving. So just kind of, just kind of leave it. I don't know if it's gonna come out all the way, but it's gonna continue to make a mess. This connector here is your transmission fluid temperature sensor. Got a little tab here. I'm gonna pull that out. Now we have all of these shift solenoid connectors and all of their mysteriousness. So to pop these out, so. What you're gonna do is gonna get your little flat blade screwdriver and you're gonna push right on this button. Well, that one's busted. Doesn't matter anymore now. But push, we'll unlock that tab. Same thing here, this little, you can barely see the black part that, that you're trying to press on. Okay, and go all the way down. I'm not gonna number these. They're gonna have memory, and they're gonna only go back in the same, you know, I can't put this one over here. They're all gonna be in their same respective locations. 
getting down to the end. Okay. Rock all disconnected. I'm gonna take this one off too, just so that it's out of our way. We have this button right here. Real easy. And that's all of our wiring. That's it, all the solenoids are disconnected. I'm just gonna get this hung away from me, away from my repair area, maybe flip it up over the drive shaft. Now this is all submerged in fluid, so this is a continuously wet. Let me get this one out of the way. You guys can see this little tiny harness up here above. I'm just gonna get everything out of my way. Again, another little button. Push it out. And uh, I'm gonna do this just to get it out, kind of hold it out of my way. I'm just gonna set that electrical connector right up in there. It doesn't go there, but I'm just using it as a as a placement. So, all right. So that's pretty much everything on the valve body. And now when you guys look at this, you're going to say like, "Oh my gosh, look at all these look at all these bolts." Well, if you guys don't notice, there are two halves to the valve body. Well, a lot of these bolts are holding the halves together. Well, if you look, let me find them because I haven't uh, haven't looked. Let's go look at the new valve body. All right, so here's the new one. We're gonna be here is the placement for the filter. Okay, so that's gonna be your reference point. But you're gonna be looking for the arrows and the feed tubes. There are some Torx bits holding the feed tube lines in, and we're gonna have to take those all down as an assembly. If you guys look right here, we have a Torx, a Torx, and a Torx right here. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rip the Torx out, and we'll have this free. It'll be kind of floating, so to speak, and then I'm going to come through here and I'm going to rip out the rest of the bolts. So we have three bolts we're going to be taking out. So let me get these Torx, I'll get these feed tube lines out of my way and then uh, I'll pull this all down as an assembly. All right, so this is a T30. We have three torques. I'm going to go for this one here. This is securing like the valve body, another little bore tube to the actual trans case. Got it. They all look like they're the same Torx, same bolt, same length. Now this is going to have fluid in it, so, you know, be prepared to have some start leaking. Now this one has leaked overnight, so that may be a difference between why mine may not be as messy as yours. This is it. This is going to be coming down. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but we're going for this one, this one, and this one, okay? So, I'm going to try to damp off as much as I can. I really don't feel like taking a bath in Mercon LV. But here we go. I'm going to save the middle one for last. See how long these are. Okay, this one right here. Okay, I'm pushing up. Bolts down. Here we go. I got these tubes here in the back that I'm going to be dealing with. 
to try to come down all is in a all is an assembly here it comes guys there it is foul body down and minimal drippage she's draining got a couple seals up here that we're gonna have to pay attention to here in the back we got where these tubes are coming in um, you can see uh, fluids is just a draining out all right we're gonna get this all set up and uh, we're gonna go over what this stuff looks like apart all right so we're out from underneath the truck here's the old valve body looking nasty but you guys can see the gaskets that are on there and they actually come on the new valve body but they did not specify that in the parts catalog the only one that it did not come with was this one here which I just pressed in now I did have to transfer these over and they had new o-rings I'm going to put in the description all the parts and rubber o-rings that you're going to need to complete this job so I've already installed I've already installed one squishy o-ring here and one is stuck up in the trans and I have installed a new one I'm going to replace all of these they're they're different heights and everything so that's pretty much it. This is going to be ready to be put back in. Uh, let's go look underneath real fast and see what it looks like for installation. Now I haven't really done anything else other than just kind of wipe, wipe some drips off. But you can see I've installed my little squishy there this one is stuck in here i got to replace this but um we're almost there guys next step is we're going to be installing this back into the truck one thing i wanted to point out was there is a sticker in your valve body box and it is going to need to be programmed into the truck so you're either going to need foreskin or ids to program this new shift solenoid body strategy into the truck Note to self, because that needs to happen. You can't convince them any other way. Just bullshit. <laughs> Just bullshit. <laughs> All right, the valve body is in. You guys, it was really no big deal to put in. Looking at the parts description, in the description, you guys will see all the squishy O-rings you're going to need and the seals, like three bolts holding it on, these three right here. And now one of the final things we're going to do is we're going to connect every single one of these shift solenoids. Look at that. Looks great. We got our TFT sensor. Got that. And then we have our shuttle connection for our park. All right, so I'm gonna stick this in here. Okay, that's how it came out. I'm gonna pull the little shuttle out just a smidge. If I can get it in both of them. You guys see how I have that? And then we're gonna slide this down until the detent, if you guys see the detent, see how it's pushing through the hole up there in the metal? You want to make sure that's engaged because you don't want this rod to fall off. See how that's not backing out? Everything's good. Okay, that is pretty much it. We're going to clean up the surface of the trans case. We're going to put our, our new filter in, put on our pan gasket, our pan, fill it up with fluid, and then we will... Uh, We'll get you in the next shot where we're going to be programming the shift solenoid strategy into the truck. All right, guys, I have the computer all hooked up to the truck and using IDS, which I just got. We're going to now program the trans solenoid ID with the sticker that came in the box. So it's going to ask us a couple of questions. We're going to go to transmission characterization. Here's our eight digit code and our 13 digit code. Those are the two numbers we gotta enter in. 
So every time you do a valve body or any type of uh, trans work, if you even replace a trans, you're going to have to be doing the same thing, whether it's with IDS, FDRS, or Forescan. So right now, the transmission 13 digit number, we're going to enter that in 213624050844. We'll double check that again real quick. 624055, yep. Our eight digit number, 0B. 399D map 766 and we're going to hit update. Okay, it's going to connect to the database and it's going to pull a file and update everything. It's going to update the database with the new transmission strategy. So the next thing is to hook the computer up, fill this girl up with fluid, and take it for a ride and verify that the concern is fixed. This repair has been verified with multiple shifting concerns, reverse, park, one, two, two, three. Um, uh, as long as the vehicle is going into all the gears and not making any grinding noise, like there's something internal going on, and no codes, it's a good assumption that you might have something wrong with your transmissions valve body. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have ever had to replace your valve body on your 11 through 16 or 17 through 19 and what problems you had. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Don't forget to fill up your juice. See ya. Here we go. Our first takeoff into second gear. Man, that was butter smooth. Right into third. Wow, I am going to say the valve body took care of our shifting concern. Hell yeah, baby!